What is happening, guys? We are back at CES 2026, and we're about to head inside to see all the best stuff that we can find. Come with us. So tell me about the anti-gravity A1. It's the world's first um, 360 drone, and the package comes with a goggle and also the grip controller. Together with the 360 footage, it provides a very immersive flying experience, which is very different from the traditional drone. It gives you a feeling that you are actually flying in the sky yourself. Do you need a license for this device? No, uh, it's under 250 grams, so it's basically available everywhere. And the retail price is starting from uh, 1600 and all the way to 2000 a little pricier than other drones. Yeah, but we have a goggle, so usually goggle charger a lot, so. And also you can use the goggle this itself a as a VR goggle. Okay, okay. I was a little skeptical whether this would work for a blind guy, but it does seem like it does work. Okay, we're about to take off. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can see 360, totally useful for reframing. You just gotta get this drone anywhere near what you wanna film, and then you're able to reframe. I'm really digging the one-handed control. It seems way easier than the other version. So we're checking out Realbotics. We were here last year, but we understand there's some updates and we're here to find out what they are. So I feel like you guys broke YouTube last year as probably the most prominent company to come out of CES. What's Thank new you. at Realbotics this year? Number one, we have uh, David over here, our new, uh, as he's called him, the, our new smug robot. He's got a little bit of an expression on his face. It's like a little bit of yes. like superiority. The fact that he evokes some emotion in you, I think is a good thing. Yes, you were talking about AI vision. Could you yes. tell me about how that's baked in this year? Our robots are a little more autonomous, so the AI takes the information it sees, what it's observing, and makes decisions based on that. So it's basically trained on a number of human behaviors to be able to sort of interpret and see. It can recognize human emotions. I'm not sure there's any other company in the world that is tied in hardware to being able to recognize human emotions. Our robots have the motorized wheel platform, more efficiency, but number two, we're the only guys that have humanoid robots that plug into the wall. So if you are an enterprise client, you don't necessarily care about the walking. What you care about is a robot that will work for you all day, all week. You can see here, she follows me, and you can see she's much more fluid than the one we had last year. This will be across all of our robots here next year. They'll be able to talk and recognize you. They'll be able to you know, read. They'll be able to see colors and, again, recognize emotion. We did this. You know sometimes you go to a fashion show, they have like the craziest outfits, and it's really just to get attention. We wanted to show a little bit of creativity and something sci-fi related to demonstrate that we make robots that look like this, but we can make them look like anything. Sure. One of the things that makes us unique is you can customize the appearance, voice, and personality of your robot through us. Again, nobody else is doing that kind of stuff. Tensor, the world's first personal robocar. Basically, it's the first robo-taxi that the consumer themselves own. Personal robocar, what does that mean? Level four, fully autonomous, hands off, eyes off, car that you can personally own. It sits in your garage. And because it's a personal vehicle, there's a lot more engineering that we had to put into the car so it could be self-cleaning, self-maintaining. All of those sensors have to stay cleaned and functioning. So here I'm in level three. You're in, you're in level three or below. Okay. Um, and if you wanted to go to level four. And the yoke disappears. It and, does. And I enter the future. It's trippy. It's all very smooth and quiet. Oh, that's the camera. Oh, yeah, wow. So you can hide it if you want privacy. And is it specifically for like video conferencing? That's it a can functionality? Be video co yes. Absolutely. Well, the car is, has 5G, so. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 5G, video conferencing. We have 11 radar. We have 37 cameras. So okay. cameras everywhere. We have eight NVIDIA Thor chips in the car for 8,000 tops of processing power. Imagine waking up in the morning and going, oh, my car just texted me. We have to leave 30 minutes early because the traffic conditions are so mm. bad. I better get moving. So it sounds like this integrates pretty seamlessly with like your calendar, your to-do list. It's so how does it based. work? Yes, it's permission-based. Okay. The other thing I want to mention that's really cool is that they actually have screens where the lights are that can project messages to pedestrians on the street. So for example, if you're at a light and you want people to know that it's okay to walk behind you, it'll show like the safe to walk pedestrian sign on the actual screens for the lights in the back. We're in Boston Dynamics booth at CES 2026. Check it out a product that is absolutely blowing up right now online. My name is Mario Bellini and I lead the Atlas product management team at Boston Dynamics. So Atlas is our flagship humanoid robot and we have been working in the lab 
the last couple of years to productize Atlas using all of the latest AI techniques and deliver the robot that you see here today. For the last couple of years, AI techniques have improved enough that we can start to do manipulation, have the robot touch the world, move objects around, understand the world the same way that people do. Can you talk to me about some of the limitations because I found them particularly impressive in terms of how much this thing can lift, what conditions it can work in, because we're already at some really impressive stats. Yeah, so Atlas can lift up to 110 pounds instantaneously and closer to 70 kind of continuously. So we designed this to handle the dull dirty, dangerous tasks, the things that are really back-breaking for people to do. It can operate for four hours on its battery life, swap its own battery so it can work continuously. Atlas can operate in the rain, it's IP67. It can also handle negative 20C to 40C. Atlas has these joints that can spin all the way around. And so we're inspired by the human form, but not limited by it. How do you see these units coexisting with human beings in the future? So we're not trying to make a robot person. We're trying to make this tool that's relatable, that's understandable, and you know the choice of the head kind of like whimsical and inviting. It's actually a modular head with the sensors and computer on board. So we've wow. learned from the autonomous vehicle industry about how you can really reliably detect people and hazards around the robot, and the robot has that built in. We're back at Xreal. The company announced a couple new AR glasses releases this year, but what I'm most excited about is some of the new functionality that they're baking into these new frames. So here to talk about those and try it out. So the Xreal 1S is really exciting. We just announced it two days ago, and here's what it is. It's a mid-gen refresh of our Xreal 1 that came out a full year ago. But here's what we're doing. We go from 1080p to 1200p. We go from a 50 degree field of view to a 52 degree field of view. All those specs go up and then the price goes down. We're able to take your desktop, your Instagram feed. By the time it leaves the computer and works its way through the glasses, it's now being viewed by you in full 3D stereoscopic format. That's crazy. I'm playing Forza right now and that's way more 3D. It feels like you're inside the cockpit of the vehicle. I want you to see how embarrassing I am at this game here. Yeah. Ooh! I would say that it's subtle. It doesn't bang you over the head, it's not cartoonish. And how about the Asus ROG Xreal R1? So that's, that's what I got right here. Right here, this is the world's first 240 hertz refresh AR glasses. What this does is we take the best of what ROG does and then marry it with the best of what Xreal does. Big, rich cinematics, lightweight AR glasses. We combine those two superpowers and it's the ROG Xreal R1. Our new 1S, available now. Our ROG Xreal glasses, coming soon, Q2. We are focused on what we can bring to customers right now. So that's 450 or 449. Okay. We've not yet announced the price and availability for R1, but that is a premium gaming setup. I see a mysterious cloth. Can you tell me anything about that? We Secrets got here. No, teases yes. We're working on it right now with our partners at Google and Qualcomm. You know what? I think I'm going to get a year. I'm going to get a sneak peek Don't right do now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get out of there. I can see the Cut. AI. I see the AI in here. So this monster machine right here is the Asus ROG G1000. It's a gaming computer with a thermal atrium up top for optimal cooling. But the main thing that caught our attention was the anime hollow functionality here. As you can see, the first is grabbing your eyes is the anime hollow. We can fully customize everything. Wow, so the user can make this visual anything they want. Yeah. So we basically have fans here with LEDs built into them, and then the eye perceives the image. Yeah, 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 true. Uh, and it can work stable, and it can work for over like 30,000 hours. And another thing we want to talk about it is the thermal solutions. This part is called thermal atrium. It's basically only work for the CPUs. Inside the thermal atrium is 420 millimeters on your one liquid coolers. And the VJs, we have two really big, uh, big fans in the front. It's pretty cool. So, so people are buying the entire computer and the case. Yes, this is all pre -boot. This is LG's Cloyd Robot Assistant. It's getting a lot of hype right now. We just saw a demo in which Cloyd interacted with a host to open up a refrigerator, get a drink, all different implications for what LG is calling a zero labor home. Welcome to Science Fiction Future begins today. We are showing our Cloyd robot here, which actually is 
thinking for itself. I'm kind of forgetful sometimes, and at night it's very important that, you know, uh, the windows are locked up and that my temperature is set properly and my doors are locked, and Cloed would take care of that for me automatically. So we have our AI, which we call affectionate intelligence. So all of our appliances will be talking to Cloed, and with Think Q on, it's going to be uh, talking to third party sensors so we have that whole home uh, protection as you were talking about, the whole home scanning. So we saw the leaks that you saw, but now we're here with the new Legion Pro rollable proof of concept. Basically, it expands from 16 inches to 21.5 inches, all the way up to almost 24 inches wide for a better gaming experience. Just a heads up, durability wise, the company says the rollable is good for up to 25,000 roll cycles. Again, just a proof of concept at this point. So this is the ThinkPad Rollable XD concept. It may look similar to what we saw last year, but it was actually completely redesigned, something completely new. So basically you just pause right here for a second, swipe left, and you can see that the monitor rolls up. Same thing in reverse. So you can see this expands from 13.3 inches all the way up to the 16 inches that we see right now. So the base we saw on the laptop this year was actually from another model. And the idea is to have a modular add-on that users can choose to add on to any laptop of their choosing at a really affordable price. This is a sneak peek of the future of Wi-Fi, where most companies are just running Wi-Fi 6. Asus is announcing Wi-Fi 8. What is Wi-Fi 8? What's going on here? Wi-Fi 8 actually focuses more on real-world benefits. Sometimes our IoT devices can hear a router, but are too weak to talk back. It can help our small devices to get much more higher power. Now these devices can communicate with each other. So now they can find the most efficient way to transmit. And I see a really interesting sort of white hexagonal 3D design, but then I also see the thing with all the different uh, antenna. What am I looking at here? What's the hardware? This concept model called Neo Core. Our router can be a center to manage your whole home device. So will this be inside of that? It will have different hardware spec. This should be a lower spec, but it's more elegant to fit to our living room or any place in your, in your house, yeah. All right, very cool, thank you. Well, that was day one of CES 2026. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe because we'll be back every single day with new compilations and videos of the coolest stuff that we found. And keep leaving those comments down below because we love hearing what you're thinking. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next video.